We just want to uh, break some break some news, uh, and this is actually big news. Uh, we have been uh, waiting uh, for this news uh, to happen, perhaps for some time. People have been talking about it. Uh, the breaking news is uh, that Jeffrey Immelt, CEO and chairman of uh, General Electric, will be stepping down uh, in his place. John Flannery will be named the new CEO of the company uh, as of August 1st, 2017, and will become the chairman of the company at the end of the year. Uh, this has uh, been, dare I say, uh, potentially a long time coming. We've talked a lot about uh, some of the travails, if you will, uh, of General Electric over the many years. Um, it, uh, its stock, dare I say, has struggled uh, for quite some time. You look at it even over a 10-year chart. Uh, it is uh, on a relative basis to what's happened to the S&P and, and the Dow Jones clearly uh, underperformed. Well, can, we're going to go back and, and look at, I think we can do as far as 20 years. I'd like to do 2001. GE versus Honeywell, right. GE versus United Technologies, GE versus GE versus any company that's that's similar to it, and you know it, it, Welch had it with a very high multiple, it was 50 times earnings probably in 1999. Right. It had the Welch premium because he never missed a quarter, and you know he managed uh, the company. We used to say he managed earnings. He said, "We don't. I don't manage earnings. I manage the company." But he always seemed to have a couple of pennies in in the drawer that could you know right. get you above. It was consistent for. With right. Welch for 10 years, but but I mean it's down from 60. Right. Welch had it to 60. So it can't get above 30. Can't get out of its own way. Immelt's tried everything. He's right. restructured this, restructured that, and. Um, but we should say that the last year has been uh, particularly complicated, in part because uh, Immelt had reached out at one point, as you know, to Nelson Peltz and Tryon, right. the activist fund, effectively put a good seal of approval on the company, and uh, in fact, to some degree, it's backfired. Um, because uh, they didn't hit their numbers. That infuriated uh, the folks at Tryon, which then continued to put pressure uh, on the company. They hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.